You are watching The World According to Eric with the baddest on the block, Eric Devante, at the Taglian Cultural Complex for the 6th Annual Truth Awards. And tonight we are celebrating six years of celebrating our truth, hosted by Better Brothers Los Angeles and the Diva Foundation. Make sure you stay tuned to The World According to Eric. Tonight, I have with me the amazing CC Penniston, who will be performing here at the 6th Annual Truth Awards. CC, what is the energy tonight? You know what? Uh, posit positive empowerment, you know, um, just being around people that are good folks, that have done great things within the community, um, women, men, just, just in general, just community. Community is what comes to mind for me. I live. Now, you've been uh, an artist in the game for, for decades at this point. How would you say the landscape has changed coming from the 90s to now where we're at a place like The Truth Awards where we're celebrating achievements of the LGBTQ plus community? Um, I think when I came out, people were like more private about who they were, what they were, if they were dating somebody. You know, when I had a publicist, they were like, hey, don't tell anyone you're dating anybody. And then it, it changed. It was like... With social media, Instagram, Facebook, everything, it's like, if we don't know you, we don't want to know you. Right. Like, if you don't respond, we don't want to know you. So I think those are the biggest changes that people really want to know, the the, the, the entertainer, and they want to know the person as well. So that's the change. Now, let me ask you, what is the most important piece of advice that you've received that got you to this point today? Don't let anybody take you off your focus. Always follow your dreams. Um, there's going to be bad. There's going to be good. There's going to be indifferent. Um, but when you can get through those times, then you end up finding I, I, what I call the pearl. And the best part of it is like, oh, okay, this is why I went through this or that. So when you realize when you've gone through the good, bad, indifferent, or you know the happy, it just it just makes it all better. So I'm just happy that I can still perform and do what I love to do. Um, it came out in the 90s. People still love Finally, and they give me so much love. So I'm so thankful to just everybody in the LGBT community. And, you know, all I can say is thank you so much for always supporting and loving me. Yes. Finally is a bop, but CeCe's catalog is phenomenal. I'm in the mood. Keep up. I'm not over you. Keep on walking. If y'all have not caught up on CeCe Peniston, please, please do some homework. All right. I'm so excited for your performance tonight. Me too. I definitely, you know, the great thing is um, people get to see me with the track, and then tonight we're doing band, live band, so it's something different. So, you know, you always kind of get to do, like, just not like the record, you know, so that makes it amazing, you know? Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, where can we keep up with you on social media? Um, Instagram is CC Peniston, um, CC Peniston Facebook official page on Facebook. Twitter is CC underscore Peniston, and then Instagram is CC Peniston. All right, ladies and gentlemen, CC Peniston. Thank you so thank much. You guys for loving me. Yeah. You're awesome. Oh, thank when you I so tell much. you your music. Do you need a picture oh, before yeah. I fan out? No. Okay. <laughs> Tonight we are at the sixth annual Truth Awards, celebrating six years of living in our truth. So, how important is it to be in a space where we're celebrating the achievements of the Black LGBTQ plus community? Mm -hmm. Who are you first? Um, I would say very. Mm -hmm. Um, since coming out I guess again um, I feel like it's great that this is the sixth anniversary even though this definitely should have happened a long time ago um, but I feel like it is one of the most important things in the world to just embrace every aspect of yourself so, yeah. I love for that uh, do you guys want to chime in I, I think she said it all perfect <laughs> now I just want to commend you guys as a family for just being so forward thinking and so vulnerable with your truth you know Zaya being so young most people struggle their whole lives to figure out what it is that their truth is and you've been so upfront at such a young age what advice do you have to young and old people that are just not living in their truth um I would say just you know I think take the time make sure you know what you want and what it really is to you and I think you just go all out with it I think it's better to just live as yourself. I mean, there might be some stuff along the way that are obstacles, but I think in the end, it's, it's going to be great. Uh, just let me add to that. I think, you know, we, when we think about the reason that we're here as well is Jason and Adair and what they mean to our family. You know, when we reached out, 
um, to them as a family to 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 ask questions, you know, to to get all the information that we needed for Zaya. They was one of the first ones to, to give us that to give us that community feeling um, and that support. It means a lot. It means a lot to us as a family, and it means so much to Zaya to be able to have that support. So having friends like Jason in there, uh, who's getting awarded tonight, um, it's the reason that we are able to speak out and feel proud, you know, about everything that goes on in our household. Um, now, Miss Union, uh, rumor has it that Adair actually designed your home, correct? All of them. Yes. Okay. This is, uh, we're going on number uh, four. I think this is our fourth, yeah, third or fourth house that uh, Jason and Adair have done. And they, I mean, I think they do an amazing job. Do you, do you love what they do? Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Whoa. Like, they, they work hand in hand to like design and make sure uh, Zaya's room is exactly how she wants it. They are friends and we don't get discounts. Yeah. <laughs> Not believe in discounts. They are friends full price, okay? All right. For their work. I mean, that sounds real good to me. Congratulations, Zaya. You are amazing and keep pushing forward regardless of everything else. Thank you all so much. Okay, we are back with the Wades, and Zaya is about to tell me who designed these color coordinated suits, okay? Because I'm getting my life. <laughs> Well, these suits are, you know, designed by Rich Fresh, and the jewelry is by Lorraine Schwartz. You know, we out here. <laughs> Zaya picked the, Zaya picked the colors. I picked the and color scheme, and rolled with it. You know. Yeah. What's the inspiration behind the color scheme? Well, they asked me what are one my favorite colors, and two, what are the colors that I think look best on me. <laughs> I chose jade because it's a pretty color. What are you um, talking about? Wow. And I <laughs> She's giving me great fashion advice. Yeah. Well, how we we got to this color. Right, right. I know you know all about this, Jason. Did you see the subtle out of my shot? Right. This isn't your moment. I respect Jason, that. Jason, I respect that. And uh, I chose the fuchsia, too. It was very pretty. And we, you know, obviously we rolled with it. We went with it. And it's a great outfit. I really like it. We stand a good aesthetic. Always. <laughs> So, did you have any input? Like, were you like, maybe I should add in some emerald, or like, was there anything, or did y'all just fall back completely? We fell back, and uh, I just Zaya. Got the invoice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah just but no, it. but you know, we this is something that came together last minute for us, um, and we wanted Zaya to really be a part of it, and we definitely got to get love to Rich Fresh for doing this in three days for our family to make sure that we came here and feel like we represented the way family together and also Jason and Adair. So hopefully we did. You know, Jason is a very tough critic when it comes to fashion. Jason and Adair, come in. Let's make it a family affair. Yeah. We have the recipients of the Business and Leadership Award, Jason Bolden, Adair Curtis. And also Hollywood Reporter's most powerful stylist for the past five years. I would just like to say it looks great. It's stellar. It's knockout. I think you won the carpet. It's fresh. It's, fresh. it's new. It's modern. And is that? It's fresh. It's rich. It's rich. It's rich. Fresh. It's rich. Fresh. It's rich. Fresh. And pending. I'll, I'll, yeah. Wow. Black designer vibes. Black designer. Black, designer. Black excellence. Now, Adair, as an interior designer, Jason, as a celebrity stylist, are there any notes? Like, what are the colors giving you? What do they say to you? Fresh, easy, happy. Money. Hey, Dwayne said he got the invoice, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for having us. We're going to go make some more money. <laughs> Thank you so much. Congratulations, guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have some backstage action going on. We have the two hosts of the evening, Ms. Rolanda Watts and Mr. Damone, the king of eyebrows. Now that I have you two together, what energy are we getting tonight from the two of you? I'm having fun. I mean, it's just a really positive room to be filled with beautiful black people of the LGBTQ and beyond community, and I'm just happy to be here with a strong ally. And we are having so much fun because this is a time to celebrate. You know, everybody's worked hard to get here, and this is the sixth year, which means we're gaining momentum, and it's a joy, a joy. And we're going to dance. Yeah. And we gonna dance. I'm so excited about the dancing. Now, we've had all this good singing so far. Not singing, good singing. Yeah. What are you guys most excited about for tonight's festivities? I'm a club kid, truly, and so CC Peniston and finally is my stuff. And I'm looking so forward to just, you know, seeing her perform it live. Yeah, I just met her backstage. She's so excited to be here as well. And I'm a club kid, too. <laughs> But you know what I also want to hear? I want to hear the speeches. What people are going to say who are being honored tonight, the allies and the people in the communities, what they're going to say, what the takeaway we're going to have, the call to action they're going to say. That's going to be exciting. 
Yeah, takes us to the next level. Well, one final question. By the end of the night, what's the vibe that you two want to get across? By the when it's all said and done, what's the vibe that you hope that you put out to the audience? I want everyone to leave here knowing that they're more than enough, as is, and that you know a lot of us, me myself speaking, you know, as a black gay man, you're us, you're kind of not taken into society because you're a person of color by a lot of people, and by your own people, you're not taken in because you're gay a lot of the time. So I really just really am inspired to see everyone coming together and not dimming their light to make others feel more than you know. Everyone's really proud of who they are, and I think that's how it should be. I just want to remind people that a lot of the gay issues are family issues for people like me with a gay brother. Um, we go back to days when nobody talked about it. My brother didn't have anything to call himself. And I watched how he grew and how the world grew also. So I think that allies need to step up their action because if you, if you see something, say something, and silence is not enough. So I think that um, encouraging others to get involved in the movement and to, to protect the rights, the basic human rights, the basic civil rights of the LGBTQI, et cetera, community. <laughs> I mean, the community is obviously doing so well that they're, they're getting a lot of alphabets. <laughs> what can I say? We're a possessive group. We're a possessive group. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you to Damone, Rolanda. I'm so excited to dance with y'all, vibe with y'all, and take in the 6th Annual Truth Awards. Thank you so much, and have a great night. Tonight's 6th Annual Truth Awards was absolutely amazing. The energy was nothing short of black excellence. But not only black excellence, black LGBTQ plus excellence, okay? It was so good to celebrate living in our truth. And my truth, truth is, Fantasia voice, I killed this outfit tonight. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, congratulations to all the award recipients as well as the scholarship recipients. Make sure you stay tuned to The World According to Eric. <laughs>